Hey, what's happening everybody? Good and welcome to another video. Today we're doing another episode of Road to Gold. I'm using the X16 today, and well, I had a lot of fun using this one, but I need to throw some disclaimers up there. I'm sorry about the fact that in between the 1911 and GS episodes, it was like two days. In between this one and the GS was about a week, and I think that's way more realistic. Beforehand, I was playing the game a fuck ton. I didn't have a whole lot to do, but I have some college level classes. Um, I'm doing swim right now, and that is five days a week, uh, meets and all that stuff. So um, being able to put the time in for COD is a little bit less. Um, but to say the least, I had a good deal of fun using this one, and there's a reason, actually. Um, this gun is very similar to the 1911 in almost every way, minus three or four statistics. The fourth one I'm not sure about, that one's just a feeling, but the other three I know are proven. Uh, the recoil is weird in this gun, it's very snappy, like a Glock, and it's different, and it's harder to use than the 1911. Even though it's lower, it, it kicks weird, and it, it goes like up to the left a lot, so you need to adjust for that. The magazine size by standard is almost double the 1911, which is awesome. But its biggest downside, and it's a big downside, it's extremely noticeable, is its terrible damage range. Compared to the 1911, they both have the same time to kill if you're at a certain distance. I think it's up to about 10 meters. But anything past that, this thing is five, six shots, and it's very noticeable. I run into it a lot. So there's two good ways to mod this thing. Number one is for range, like I did with 1911. I did not use it this way, but if you want to, just take my mod here that you're seeing on screen and add a monolith support Presser, maybe remove the tack laser and um, throw something else on there one of the grips to lower the recoil but I just went full this thing is aggressive balls to the wall so the barrel is going to be the advantage slide I like this for a couple reasons number one it extends our damage range even if it slows the ADS and it's a little bit of a trade-off but most importantly the iron sights are good um, I didn't want to use an optic on this one I don't want to use optics on any of them but I had to with the deagle just because it was ridiculous so I don't want to use an optic these iron sights ended up being good with gold they were harder to use because they're normally night sights with all the other camos but with this they're weird <laughs> so next is the lightweight trigger this is a given all the semi auto pistols need a lightweight trigger faster rate of fire means faster time to kill there's a downside oh no my ADS sway is a little higher who cares I'm not trying to shoot guys at 5,000 meters away who cares very fast rate of fire that's one of the things you need to take advantage of oh that was the fourth thing I didn't even say the fourth thing uh, the rate of fire in this one's a little bit faster than the 1911 ammunition this one is up to you it has a 13 round magazine and that's plenty to kill a guy or two but the moment you start extending that range sometimes you need a couple more rounds so add these extra four it doesn't slow your ADS too much and I, I think it's just you know I had that extra slot either Either that or get a grip to make your ADS time faster those you can choose sleight of hand is required for the ridiculous aggressive plays that you're gonna be doing with this thing that's how I use pistols in this game I've talked about it in the past you just say play super aggressive your ADS time is fast take advantage of it and last is a weird one I've never used the lasers in this game but using the tack laser was really nice super duper snappy ADS like I have not noticed uh, that big of a change when I put those um, ADS time attachments on other guns, but this is just a fucking bop bop. It's, it's very quick to ADS and it's super nice. And I actually really like this attachment. I have a lot of respect for it compared to the other lasers because it doesn't give away your position at all um, unless you're aiming down sight. So you're not going to be sitting and aiming around a corner with the pistols that often. So, you know, there's that. The problems I had making this gun gold or getting it gold were a little weird. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier in the episode, I broke my fucking controller and I had to go buy a new one. And the new one I bought was more expensive, but completely weird and I wasn't used to it. And playing with it was really hard. And at the time I had a couple more challenges remaining and these are the ones that I had the most trouble with. Crouching kills, um, no attachments, and double kills. I've already said no attachments and double kills and those are obviously given. Um, this gun is literally the worst ever without attachments like this thing sucks so much it shoots so slow its range is terrible its magazine size is eh, it's reloads so fucking slow its iron sights aren't that great it's a sucky gun when you get it and that's just kind of how a lot of guns in this game work but i hate that one double kills just getting those to line up is difficult sometimes especially when both of them are using like fucking m4s and 725s the last night i was working on this gun and i got a gold i was going to start recording for this episode but i wanted to give myself a day of wiggle room because i knew all i'd complain about in it was 725 725 725 God damn it sucks using a gun that you have to be up in people's faces and they're always destroying you all the fucking time. I hate the 725. 
whatever, that was double kills. But crouching kills. I broke my control stick. That was the thing that broke in this controller. If I went left or right, it would go, like, my stick would go up. It was really weird, and I would have to crouch, and um, I usually play on tactical. So, you know, I, I pressed the control stick down to crouch, and doing that was very hard, and it made me go buy a new controller. So, you know, there was a $60 price tag on that challenge, but I finally finished it. Whatever. Um, how would I run this gun? So that one's important. Um, pretty much the same as all the other pistol classes. I probably shouldn't say that just in case you're watching this individual episode. Um, you're going to want to run Scavenger because you're using Sleight of Hand. If you use Fully Loaded as your perk on the gun, then don't use um, that and use EOD because Claymores are crazy. But Sleight of Hand, Ghost, I love being off the radar. It's great. Um, and then last would be either Tracker or Shrapnel, whatever you want to do. I use Shrapnel just because I like throwing C4. I did it less with this gun, but I mean, I do it with all of my classes. I run Shrapnel uh, because in Ground War, it's great to blow up stuff. And you can two-tap a Wilson with C4. And I've been running into more and more of those because it's, it's one of the mission challenges. So I've just been scrapping these things and people get pissed because I just throw both around the corner and just any shot of damage from them kills it. It's great. Um, primary, I use the AUG. That was weird. I don't know why. It was just like, I'm going to do SMJs after this, I think. I don't know. I think I'm going to do marksman rifles, but I, I was running the AUG. It was my ranged weapon, even though it really isn't. Um, and I'm just trying to level it up because I know you can get some cool conversions. Um, Stim, always. Stim is the best tactical in this game. I don't care who the fuck you are. You can say flashbangs are awesome. You get one of them. With Stim, you get two of these things. You can refresh your tactical sprint. Most importantly, you can heal. I have over 20,000 health healed with this stem. It's the best fucking thing ever. I love it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, that's that's your loadout. So uh, that's really all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and being patient. Uh, these episodes are going to come out a little slower, um, but I will still try my best. Next will be the 357 probably, and then after that we're going to be able to get some platinum. We'll do a full review video of all the pistols. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, tell me in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I said it twice. Uh, and have a good one. Peace, peace, everybody.